going well with you. So, <clears throat> what are we going to be doing today? Well, DBX for the win. Yeah. Ha-ha. <laughs> Hello, Steve. Yes, so... I'm going to be doing the old Guardian Blueprint. Nice, short, lovely little stream today. Uh, the rugby is on, which we know. Know the rugby's on. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. Elite Dangerous is the game. I can see I've been playing some Valheim already uh, this afternoon. And really, this is all about... Um, well, effectively, getting my Elite Dangerous stuff back on. Right. So, the stream is all set up. Let's get ready to go. Can you all hear me okay? If you can. Great. Right. So, what am I in today? Look at this. Well, I thought I'd have a bit of a, a zip around in this old beast. It's a little mamba. Look at that. Now, not entirely sure it's going to work. When I say it's going to work, I just dumped a load of things in here. Let's have a quick look uh, of outfitting. Right. Okay, let's have a look. Um, for some reason, the sound settings are all over the place. Uh-huh. That should be okay, I think. Right. Resume. Okay. Outfit in. So you've got the power. You've got the jump range. We've got the hard points. Don't know why I've got rail guns in it. I, I won't be using them. Not for this, anyway. Um, core internal. Usual stuff, Guardian Hybrid Power Plant, thrusters, all that good stuff. And then optional, hopefully, I've got some car I've got a cargo space in there, look. You know, nothing too, nothing too mind-blowing. But I've got a bit of cargo space. All I'm going to need is what I'm saying. That's what I'm going to need here. So, utility mounts, what have we got? Shield boosters, chaff launcher, heat sink. Kill warrant scanner. Okay, so have a look at our modules over here. Okay, okay, fire groups. Real guns on button two. Great, fab. All that aside though, right? All this aside. Let's go and have a look at some guardians. And it's good to be in a different ship for a change. Oh, listen to that sound. That's the stuff, isn't it? Look at that. Doesn't that look cool? The gear is away, everybody. The gear is away. So. Let's put our, let's put our hoof down, shall we? Yeah, we're travelling now. We're certainly travelling now. Look at the shininess going on. There's our lights at the beginning. And we're off. Right then, so why am I using this ship? No reason, I haven't flown it much. Right, um, we are in... Where are we? Let's start with that. Where are we exactly? We've got to do another jump. Because we are miles away from where we want to be. 
But it's good to take this ship out. You know? And have the volume. Let's just turn the, the, the sound up on the stream. Watch your ears, everyone. Here we go. Right, this is the engines. Ready? It's a bit of a rattle, isn't it? I do like it. Right, so let's get back to the carrier, plot a jump to where we're going. We're going to go to the Sanufi system. volume back down a bit. Okay, can you all still hear me? Hope you can. I've altered the gain on the mic. Pad 11. Here's the stuff. So what do we all think about the um, developer's announcement this week about weaponry? What do we all think about that? It was alright, wasn't it? These you know, weapons is what everyone's going to be talking about. I'm pretty sure it is the B-44 system I want to go to. Jumpy jump. Let's get down inside. Uh, and we're going to jump. Audio sounds good to you. Fantastic, Fortune Voyager. And thanks for joining. So yeah, um, good old Elite Dangerous. And good old Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Now, it was quite interesting, and I did a video on this yesterday, that they um, happened to mention, I say happened to mention, that there's a spring sale on for all the embellishments. And that got me thinking, as I mentioned in the stream, this spring sale, right? Well, spring is exactly when they were meant to be launching the Alpha for Odyssey. And I've not heard a peep. Not a peep. A little bit of extra speed there. you've got all that all the stuff done brilliant 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 shield generators reinforce shields generate modification generate a bit more generation not that I need any of this stuff but might as well you know it's you've got the components here so could we be expecting the alpha for Odyssey any day I mean Hopefully they'll give me about two weeks so I can finish what I'm doing on Valheim. And then we've got a release date for Subnautica as well. And all the rest of it. So, you know, it, it, it's going to be... It's going to be interesting. So, just over two billion in the carrier. So, 
so the ships I've got on the carrier, Viper, Diamondback Scout. I know, I don't know why I've got one. The Cobra Mark III. And a lot of these are just generally ships I've used for storage. There's um, the Vulture. Don't nearly spend enough time in that. Or the Imperial Clipper. But um, get a bit fed up with the old Asp Explorer. So I thought I'd change ships just for a change. Now a lot of my ships are very sort of like Thargoid heavy. And the Python's too big. So hence I thought we'd give it a go with um, the old Mamba. I should be really thinking about bringing some more ships over. Hello, Steve. It is a good ship. Um, I mean, my Vulture. Is it a good ship? I haven't done much engineering on it, I don't think. Where is it? Got a burst laser. Okay, cool. Um, haven't got... Well, let's just have a good look at it. Use this ship for the time being. I haven't got any cargo in it. So it's no good for what I'm going to be doing. But for this stream, we'll be dealing with the first part of the puzzle and the second part of the puzzle to get the Guardian Fighter Blueprints we'll be doing tomorrow. So, what do we got? Got a couple of um, empty empty sockets, module reinforcement, hell reinforcement. I haven't put any storage in you. Um, I could put two of those in, just just for giggles. But, you know, it's not really for you know cargo hauling. It's such a such a nasty ship, a nast nasty in a good way. Just two slots. And I've got big burst lasers on there. Um, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Power. I need to get more power. I need to get a Guardian power plant in there. Um, different, different thrusters. Nothing in the much of utility mounts, really. So yeah, it kind of is what it is. Um, there's no Guardian Guardian um, jump drive in it either. Frameshift drive booster. None of that. None of that rubbish. Just good old fighter. And um, we got a prismatic shield on it. That's why the it's gone through the roof. Um, all the module reinforcement, like I said, you know, um, and the standard surface scanners that's why i decided i would be going with today's ship and today's ship is going to be where's it gone the mamba because it's just ridiculous that's why so yes the rugby's on today who's gonna win wales or england do we know? Do we think? Do we care? Um, I think Wales might have it, really. Um, well, actually, where is my fur lance? There it is. Shinrata Desrata. Right, Desra. Um, nothing really close to me. Take a long time to get it over. I'm not prepared to pay some of the money. I mean, look at that for that anaconda to get it over with. So, uh, how long till I jump? Eight minutes. So yeah, let's just talk about um, 
let's talk about what the announcement yesterday uh, about Odyssey. So there's going to be things in regards to the weapons. No melee weapons. There's not going to be any knives. There's not going to be any swords or battleths or axes. Because it's a shame, really. It's a shame they didn't fit everybody else with some sort of like ridiculous weapon like, I don't know, a mace or an axe or a hatchet instead like you know but i guess that probably would have given it a different sort of like rating wouldn't it for um you know uh, uh, what's it what's it called um a different pg rating on the games so i don't even know what it is i think it's a 15 or an 18 this game anyway because of the references to drugs and all that sort of stuff so fair enough so there's no melee weapons but it did say you could use your other weapons. Um, for sort of like hand-to-hand -hand combat, like pistol whip people and things like that. So what we got here, you say, don't be in a hurry for, yeah, Odyssey Alpha. You've been playing so the last three years and coming open and plant a grenade under your captain's chair. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, I tell you what. 2K7, 2K7U. Um, welcome. Welcome, everybody. So, okay. We're just waiting for the jump now. How many of you have caught the Valheim streams that I'm doing at the moment? Anyone? I'm enjoying that game. It's a lot of fun, right? It's hard. It's harder than this. Um, really hard, in fact. Absolutely ridiculously hard. Ibex the Goat, how are you doing? Welcome back. So yeah, Valheim is absolutely rock hard, um, as you've probably been seeing from the streams. But I can't stop playing it. My missus said, you're going to come in here and watch television with me. No, I am playing Vikings. You know, and of course she thinks it's something attached to um, the gay, uh, the television program. No, no, no. It's Valheim. It's all about Valheim. There you go. So um, I've quite enjoyed it. Crafting. I mean, it was put onto my stream site right my stream feed simply because i play subnautica and subnautica below zero and that's got a release date in may like i mentioned and it popped this up there i thought ah oh, you know 15 pound i'll give it a go it might be good and then with that it just exploded on steam with three million uh people buying the game in two weeks beating counter-strike go So, new people on the stream. Um, Gunny89, thanks for being a long-time fan. I hope you've subscribed. You're also on Twitch. And I'll put the Twitch thing on there as well. Um, Ricardo's Gaming, 71. That's us on Twitch. And we're also on the Facebooks. And we're also on the YouTubes, as you know. So hit a like and a subscribe on the video, if you wouldn't mind. It would really help me out. So, 2K7, you, you just got your anaconda. Are you very happy? How are you um, going to configure that anaconda? Are you configuring it for jumping? Are you conf configuring it for warfare or for trading? You know, because there's some pretty good jumper conda builds for it as well. So how are you going to configure that? So yeah, look at the, look at the lines on this Mamba. You know, you, you you could almost sort of like mistaken it for a a television ad, couldn't you? Look at that. Whoa. Look at the sleek lines of this. If you want power, 
then Zorgon Peterson is for you. So yeah, all good stuff. So are we are we jumping yet? Yeah? Five minutes to go. Bloody hell. So then going back to the um, going back to the the announcement by Frontier. Then they said there's only going to be explosive weapons are going to be grenades. Explosive weapons are going to be rocket launchers. And immediately I thought, well, what about mines? Anti-personnel mines. Ship explosives. You know, all that sort of good stuff. What about that? You know? I thought, mm, missed opportunity. But then again, you know, like they say, it's all in alpha. Um, they can have a damn good change about all this stuff if they want to put more more weapons in later so you're doing yours for exploration okay with a 16 light year jump python after a chance price my 63 million credits that's not bad but a 16 light year jump python that must have been painful Well, yeah, Guardian Boosters will certainly help that and put about a third, at least, onto your ship. But then, you know, configure that Anaconda up for some light weight. And away you go. Reminds me, the, the cockpit is very sort of reminiscent of that of a fighter craft, isn't it? You know? Of a jet fighter. The old F-16. Yeah, here's the thing. Gunther. Yeah, this is the thing, right? Um, what do I say about this Mamba? The problem with the Mamba is heat. Right? It's all about heat. So whatever you put on it, you've got to have like some engineered beam lasers or something like that. We're jumping. Here comes the jump. And we're jumping. Good stuff, eh? Yeah, it's uh, it's all about the heat. All about the heat. So we are. We're traversing hyperspace. Isn't that good? Look at the inside of this is nice place to be, isn't it? Lots of graphs and things. No wires hanging about. Right, we've honked our horn. Are we out yet? Are we there yet, Dad? We certainly are. Let's get this bird in the air. I'm just loading it up by myself, Jan. Um, I do have a squadron. But I haven't really done much with it.
Dun, dun, dun. Look how long it is. Ready? Phew. Right. We're, what are we going to do today? Other than just... Go on about the bloody Mamba all day. So, let's turn fleet carriers off. There's the Guardian Beacon in Sanufi KU F B44 44. That's where we're going. So, with boost, I'm boosting at 528. 529. It's a quick ship. Let's get over to this beacon. When we get into frame shift, we can go to the this section. There's my squadron. The Ricardo's badges. Applications, add people in. Right, let's get over there. Squadron 6633 is the squadron. Scan the beacon for the data. So like anything um, in this game, you know, you can keep going back to these beacons to get more and more um, artifacts to unlock more and more. How come the Badger Obsession? Badger Ale. Badger Brewery, the old ale, as opposed to the black and white sort of like furry feature that will bite your arm off. So, Guardian Beacon time. It's in orbit. Let's drop out. Okay, here we go. Because you can't see it, there it is, directly in front. It's all a bit dark. But there it is. Let's get a bit closer. Got our lights on. Now as we're going to approach this. It's all going to come to light. All these arms are coming out. The beam lasers I want, really. See, it's all lit up with that sort of Guardian quintessential Scion light. So here we go. So 
So how are we going to activate it? Well, I'll tell you. The Guardian Energy Pylon. Like everything in Elite Dangerous, we're going to shoot it. Look how quickly. Just look how quickly the temperature went up through the roof. Oh, they love a bit of they love a bit of darkness. You're right there. Right, so we've got one sorted out. Let's get ourselves over to the next pylon. Gonna shoot it in the all, Sarge. There we go. So we're all lined up again, right? Second one done. Just look how quickly the heat goes up in this mamba. It's so... Yeah, you're right. It's utterly scary. I've got so much engineering to do. It's unbelievable. It's like one shot, run away. Second shot, run away. Here it is. Guardian energy pylon. There you go. Now you can see it outside. It's doing its funky thing, look. It's all reconfiguring itself. How cool is that? I think I think that is major cool. Right, so we've got to get in there, we've got to scan that. Right. Look at all this. Lovely electricity guardian sort of energy pulsating through these things. It just looks nasty. It just looks like it's gonna go and do some Thargoids in. It really does it says to me, ooh. This is some spooky stuff. That's what the guardians say to me. Spooky stuff. Don't really understand it. You know, old Ramtar, he's, you know, backward engineering all their technology to give us, you know, increased frame shift drive boosters and all the rest of it and weapons and modules and all that good stuff. And fighters. But we don't know who they are. Don't know anything about them. And how is this going to continue on in, in the Elite Dangerous sort of like story arc? We don't know, do we? Anyway. Enough of all that. Let's get up there into the Guardian Beacon, get a bit of a closer look. It's mad. Well, let's scan it. We've scanned the beacon. Now something else is happening, but what's happening is it's gonna something's gonna pop out at the bottom. Usually. Look at the, the Guardian entry. That's us, right there. We know exactly where it is. Go to the knowledge base. Um, 
Individuals? Nah. The Guardians? Their technology? It's all here in the Codex, you know? It's all here. Should you want to read it. Right. Let's go into it with a data link scanner. Got to get a bit closer with this now. There we go. Now something's happening down here, as you can see. All right, it's all it's all going a bit bonkers. It's all spinning around, as Kylie Minogue said. And that's what we want. After all this time, this thing's still working. So, it's an ancient key. Let's take it nice and slow. We can scan it. Get the cargo scoop down. Nice and slow. Without crashing into anything. And this bit by the I don't know, it just... I've got... I'm reminiscing about Star Trek and um, the Voyager probe side of things, you know? Got this glowing thing, you got this big, massive... I just, it just popped into my head then, you know? Star Trek, the motion picture. Am I on the money to, to collect that up? Do you think it will go in? Did I get it? Hey, I got it. I did crash into it, mind. That's all right, isn't it? Um, let's back off a bit. And there it is. That's the Guardian Beacon. Look at that. Still powered up now. But we've got it. We've got it all. Yeah, the good old motion picture. So we've got that ancient key in our ship's cargo. A crystalline artifact recovered from a guardian beacon. Too right it is. Back. Um, but it does give you then where you've got to go and do with it. Guardian beacon, right? So, we've got to go now then to Sanofi EQ space C21-15. Right, A1, latitude 37, longitude, one one one. So that's what we've got to do. But before I go there, and knowing what this game is like, I'm gonna do all that again. Because why wouldn't you? 
Why wouldn't you do all that again? And we'll jump the carrier there. And uh, that'll also give us something to do tomorrow. Because truth be told, I mean, the last couple of community goals have been utterly, utterly rubbish. Now, tell me I'm wrong. Like, in fact, I completely missed out on the other one. Right. There it is. We're all lined up. Look at it. It's all klaxons going off in the ship. <laughs> Look at the size of the gun on top of that. That's huge. Right, okay, moving on. Now there are three Guardian fighters, the Trident, the Not Trident, and yeah, the Not Not Trident, but it's generally the Trident that I've been using. There's three fighters that have got different strengths against the Thargoids and things like that. Let's line that properly. One more to go. Here we go. Right, we're lined up and fire all weapons. If I don't think I hit it. Grill. It's doing its thing again. That's a really good effect, isn't it? So, here we go. Data link scanner. It all reconfigures itself and then you get another key. It's that easy. Not much to it. I mean, an awful lot of work went into this spectacular event as well, mind. You know? And behold, there is another ancient key. Now you can knock it off if you can't get your ship in there. I was doing this in the Python and it just would not fit and I'd knocked it the wrong way and it was a right mess. So I came back in the Asp Explorer and did it.
and rinse and repeat. There you go. So it's probably worthwhile doing it once more so I can unlock Right, where's that pylon gone? There it is. It's a good job. It is quite spectacular, mind, isn't it? So, you know, because it it's... Um, it's absolutely boring. I mean, I was saying in the Valheim stream I did earlier on, right? What is it with games and mining? Talk about laborious. It's laborious wherever you go. Okay, here we go. Good thing is you don't need many many shots and it's good job because it's it's cooking me inside every time I turn it on. Here we go. Let's line this mamba up. Okay. And fire. Brill. The third and final time. Yeah, here it goes. That's a good effect, that sort of like blue mist, don't you think? I think it's a really good effect. Right, there's the ball. Ball goes back to where it came from. It is pretty cool. Um, I think three times to see it is enough, mind. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Otherwise it's going to get pretty boring. Thanks for subscribing, Jordan. Okay, here we go. Same old, same old now. I got two in the cargo rack. It's only three fighters. Let's get in there. Scoop it up and get gone.
If you look outside, I mean, look. Look at the glowing light coming off that thing. Now the guns are trying to point down, you know? <laughs> Other guns pointing down. If I fire, right, it's going to blow the cockpit away. Look at that. Look at it. If that fires, that's the entire front of the ship gone. The keys are to unlock Guardian Fighter Blueprints. So I've knocked it now. I've knocked it out the way. There it is. Now I don't think I can get any, I can't get closer to it. And that's what happens. And then you've got to try and coax it out of the way look like what I've done there with the front of the ship right and then if you do knock it it's just wobbling all over the place we've got it we're out Goodbye, old guardian beacons. You were spectacular for a while. Okay. Clog down. Moving on. Right, we need to go. See, so basically now what we need to go is to the next Sanufi system, which I think was 15, wasn't it? If I go back. Into two. Guardian beacon. 15. I need A1. Right then. And I will need to go back to the carrier anyway and get something that's got an SRV in it. Because it's going to be ground based. So. Let's. Um, warm the carrier up. Before we get moving. Because it's not fair. In fact, is it worthwhile jumping the carrier? Where's it gone? 15. There it is. It's 46 light years. So it's not fair. We'll do that in we'll do that in the ASP. So let's go to the carrier. Jump. Back to the carrier as soon as we can. Chain ships. Make sure there's an SRV attached. Put our keys in the cargo hold and get over to that, that planet. So hello to all of you who have just joined. 
we're doing the Guardian Beacons and getting the blueprints for the Guardian Fighters. In case you're wondering and you can see, I'm in the Mamba. A bit dark, I know. But you get the general idea. Get a better look of it when we get near the carrier. So yeah, so other things for Elite Dangerous as well. Um, they said that you can fire at ships and what have you, and fire rocket launchers at ships. What they didn't mention was that you can fire rocket launchers and stuff at SRVs, which of course you're probably going to be able to, right? And is there going to be different loadouts for the SRVs? That's one of the questions I've got. And if not, what a missed opportunity. So it was about 10 questions they answered this week. And I was wondering if they were going to do it on a Friday. And they did. So, good for them. You know, really good for them. So we're very slowly making our way towards the carrier. And for those of you who've been watching on the channel, I got my secret lab chair this week. Very comfortable, but like what some people said, it's a bit hard on the ass after a while, but that's good because that then forces you to get up and walk around, which is, which is quite good. I wouldn't say it's uncomfortable. It's not uncomfortable. You just think, oh, that's a bit firm and full of support, isn't it? So... Pad 12, that's where we're going. How maneuverable this ship is. It's crazy. So, there it is. I mean, look at it. It's in its stock colours, because why change it? I think the red and white just makes it look absolutely wicked. Um, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, I don't like it. And as, as we discussed, right? As we discussed, heat and what we've seen, heat is a big problem for this ship. So it's got to be engineered with, with heat in mind if it's going to be effective. But my God, it's fast. And you're right, Steve, it is a beautiful looking ship. You just gotta engineer it to sort the heat out. Otherwise it's useless, you know? Anyway, our inventory, ancient keys, transfer our ancient keys. See, I've already got three in there, so I've got six. Confirm, cancel, excellent, carrier services into something a little bit more practical for not only landing um, at a site, into my shipyard, stored ships, um, I could take that, but I need to mess about with the...
Where are we? Here we go. I'm looking for a point defence. I need point defence. And, as, and as, would, as it would happen, none of my ships have got point defence. Which is a bit ridiculous. There's got, he's got point defence. Let's go to the Type 9. Use this. Take the point defence off it. Pop that onto the Asp Explorer. Job done. Because where I'm going, there's going to be those Guardian Sentinels. And if I've got point defence, that will shoot any missiles down. It's a big old beast of a ship, this. Point defense, transfer options, store. Store my point defense. Okay, back, back. Shipyard, stored ships. Asp Explorer. Use this ship back onto the good old Asp. It does a bit, doesn't it? A bit of Sonic the Hedgehog. It is good. So if there's any problems with the stream on YouTube, then Twitch has got a better ingestion rate. Um, don't know about Facebook, to be perfectly honest with you. It's not one of those things I tend to think too much about when when doing streams. I just use Streamlabs to multi-stream it. So, uh, what do I want to do? I want to put that... Oh, blah, 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 blah. I want to put that utility mount on. Browse. I don't want to browse the shop. I want... Oh. Transfer. Point defense. Transfer to ship. Thank you very much. No dramas. And then transfer. Transfer heat sink launcher as well. Why not? We got the power. Hard points. I mean. I've still got two hard points there I'm not using. Um, the reasons? Can't be bothered. Really can't be bothered. As soon as I transfer something in, uh, and I haven't got anything to hand, to be honest, um, I go over my limit. And my core internal module's already got the Guardian hybrid power plant. So I've got to think about stuff that gives me, you know, less power. You know, less power usage. And, and the shields. The shields on this are my problem. Why or why I put, originally I put in prismatics, I don't know. Because it gives me a hell of a lot of problems. Anyway, I've got my... Scarab in there. Got some cargo. Got some cargo racks. So we're okay. Let's get going. Right. Let's launch it up. should all be familiar with the Inquisitive Badger Mark II by now. My go-to exploring ship. I do like it. And it could go a lot further without the reinforced plating on it. I know. Anyway. Anywho. Where are we going? Right. Galaxy map. Sanufi 15. 
that's where we're going. Let's look in here. It's A1 we're going to. When we get there, it'll pop up quite nicely. Right. We're going to do the jumping. Um, it's only 40 light years. Modules. we got all the modules. Got a fuel scoop just in case. Got some guns. Got a Xeno scanner as well. Look. Might as well turn it on. Are we ready? Jump. And we're off. And... A little bit of scooping. And we are here. And if you scroll down, there's the Guardian structure. Round A1. Let's get ourselves over there. A member in an elite assassination mission. It must be engineered then, because as soon as you press that trigger, your heat goes through the roof. You know, great looking ship, super fast. So it looks like we're coming down on the right side. Oh, no, we're not. Me and my big mouth. Of course it can't be in daylight. It's got to be in the dark. Got some carriers in orbit. There was no point jumping mine in. Here we go. I don't think I've ever seen a Guardian structure in pure daylight. We're going in. Not that anyone can see anything other than that. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? These planets, they just suck the living life out of you. So I've got my night vision on. Just see some structures coming out of the distance. Look. Right, here we go. So that's where we got to put our thing. Christ, gravity on this, please. Um, 
Good job we had the old shields on the go. So it's going to be a case of... Putting it in there. I think all those will charge up. Let's see how it goes. And I've just realised my other part of my joystick. What is it doing? The other part of my joystick is all jammed up. Let's see. Ah, there we are. It was on top of something. There you go. Sorry for all the clattering around. Um. Right, let's go and land. Real. In hindsight, I should be pointing the structure with me lights. Shouldn't I? Turn the old ship around. There's the structure. Any light we can give it is going to help, isn't it? You know, because... Come on, I literally just took straight up. Good God. Let's see if I can get here. Might be slightly better. Oh my God, that's flatter than anything. We're down, finally. Right. All pips to shields, because those things are going to bloody come up. Good morning from Louisiana, he says. 80 degrees, my God, Josh. It hasn't been snowing around your part, so isn't it? Right. Let's get into the um, the scarab. Drive assist. Ah, I've just realised. You know what I haven't done, don't you? Who can tell me what I haven't done? Yeah. I haven't packed my ancient keys in my cargo hold. That was daft, wasn't it? <laughs> That's as bad as forgetting your limpets. Oh my God. Well, that's irritating. So I can't, so, hmm. Bloody hell. I wasn't going to jump the carrier here. Bloody hell. Now 
No, I got my SRV. I just haven't got the ancient keys I need to unlock the blueprints. They're still on the fleet carrier. Oh, look at these stupid things. Right, you can't take him out either, can you? Yeah, that. Point defense is just doing him in, mind. I'll be back. I'll be back with my stuff. Yeah, you have some of that. Who else wants some? Anyway, um, let's go and get those ancient keys. Bloody, 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 bloody. Fortunately, it's only one jump away. And we can see quite, you know... Point defense is great, isn't it? You know? I just like shooting him. Right, let's go and get the, the stuff. I can't believe I did that. Oh, of course it would be, wouldn't it? Oh dear. Happens to us all. Want your clues, your boots, and your ancient keys? I know. I'll be back. I'll be back for my with my ancient keys. Guardian Sentinels. Oh, what a silly mistake! Hey, well, we all do it, don't we? Yep. I've got my key, ancient keys on the cargo bay desk on the way out. Ugh. Yeah, I've got a key. I've, I've, that's where I've just been. Um, I've picked up them from the... Where have I picked them up from? I've picked from a Guardian satellite, mighty Yagu. That's where I've picked them up from. But the carrier's only one jump away. I think that'll work out quite nice just before the rugby starts. Hello, Commander. So soon? I know you've just left your ancient keys here. Ah. 
very silly. Right, here we go. be down yet we sure are <sighs> right where was I inventory transfer Ancient keys. Might as well do them all. Confirm. Right. Six ancient keys I've got there. Brill. Launch. Let's go back. Don't mess me about. Why is he giving me two bloody jumps now? Ah, because I've got stuff. I've got stuff in the cargo hold, see? So I've got to do two jumps. Very heavy. It's three ancient, six ancient keys. Do a bit of scanning, I suppose. It is, yes, yeah, the weight of the cargo. No dramas, though. Total no dramas. It's quite ironic, isn't it, right? You look out your window, and in Barry in South Wales, the Welsh Riviera, it is brilliant sunshine. It's a glorious spring day. Right? And it was only a couple of weeks ago, I looked out the window, and the sky was as black as sackcloth this time in the afternoon. Spring is springing. 
which means our copies of Elite Dangerous Odyssey should be springing too. You'd think. It is. Do you know what? People are feeling a bit more happier. All the neighbours are in the gardens, you know. Windows are open. Sorting out stuff. It's nice. I think it's generally what everybody needs. Bit of nice weather. Because the winter has been miserable, hasn't it, really? So here we are again, everybody. We're at um, Sanufi E Q C21 15 Planet A1. And we are on our way, not the Tipperary, but to the Guardian structure. And hopefully I won't cock it up. Of course it's from the other side of the planet, isn't it? You know, great. Orbital flight engaged. Miserable winter in south southeast Louisiana. I bet you had some pretty good temperatures, did you? Or was it absolutely horrendous? I mean, I know about it's the snow and the ice that you've had, but. Come on, let's drop down. Short sleeve shirt, uh, I remember them. In the UK, it was on um, on Sky News. They were saying, oh, well, there's a cold snap coming just after Easter. Well, Easter's a month away, you know, for us. Right, here we are again. Look everyone, it's a Guardian site. Try and take it in nice and easy this time. What a landing. You're right. It's like we've been here before. I just can't quite put my finger on it. I want to get a bit closer. Even though that was the best landing I've ever done on a planet. I want to get a bit closer. If it'll let me. Bloody hell. 
That's two really good landings. Right. All the power to the shields. Point defense is point defense him. <sighs> right. Ancient keys. Yeah, we got all of those. Let's get into the scarab. I know. I can't believe it. I honestly can't believe it. I wish you could take credit for it, but it just happened. Right. Transfer cargo. Ancient key. Oh, my expert pass, what it is. Expert piloting. Right, we just take one with us. All right, let's go and take those sentinels out. Let's go the right way. It's one there already, look. Look, he's just waiting for it. They're just waiting for me. And I can't do anything until I clear the zone. Combat mode activated. Right, you're going to get it, mate. Where are you? Is the ship going to get it? It is. Brill. What have we got here? Oh, Sentinel Weaponry. Mothership under attack. We're okay. The Mothership can take care of itself. For the time being. Don't you shoot that blue crap at me. Good stuff when the ship gives you a bit of a helping hand. Yeah, April the 4th, Easter. It's... Are we shooting? Come on. Cool. Let's recharge those shields a bit. Let's pick up all these wreckage components. Because to be fair, right, we're going to need all of this, aren't we? Even the power conduits. All these things are turning up. Yeah, great. We're going to fill our cargo hold full of this stuff. Ancient relic. There's going to be power conduits everywhere. we just kind of got to, one, remember how to drive the SRV. And have a look around all these, all these areas. Let's go and shoot these, um, Sentinels. If the mothership was to be destroyed, um, you'd respawn at the last station because you'd run out of air in your SRV. Which is a shame, really, that you couldn't summon your... If you could summon... Summon your fleet carrier, for example. And you could call a ship to you. That would be good. But, you know, we're talking craziness now. That's like developers actually thinking about things. 
And we all bash the developers, I know, but um, he's probably there, look. Yeah, we got urns and all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna pick all this up. Guardian Sentinel weapon parts. <sighs> right. You've asked for it. Yeah. Knock the mouse. I think that's it. For the time being, anyway. Just pick all this stuff up. Because, you know, guardian parts. Guardian parts, aren't they? We won't need them all. But we'll need enough of them. Yes, they do a bit, don't they? You're right. I've played Mass Effect. Good game. I enjoyed them, actually. Let's stock up on all these parts, anyway. Right. Let's get up here. Right. Yeah, that old point defense is pretty good stuff. So I, I've realized I'm going the wrong way. It's that way, I think. There, there it is. Bit of evil can evil. Look at that. Oh, touchdown. Touchdown. Another sentinel. I know there's another one. Because I saw him. He must be hiding. But that's all right. <clears throat> all right, so we're about by here, aren't we? Right. <clears throat> Four. Ancient key. Brilliant. I missed. Oh no, it's on. Right, so that's gone in now, on there. Now I've got to shoot all the pylons everywhere. Right, so we, we know this from We know this, we've done this before. We just gotta find all the pylons. There you go. Right. <clears throat> done that one. We just gotta find the other ones. That's it, here we go again. Oh, 
Oh, there he is, look. Good old point defense. You gotta love it. Right, so, um, where's the rest of these bloody pillars? So I've done those. Gotta be down here, haven't they? This is no time to get stuck. And to be fair, I can't remember where they are. Oh, yeah, look. There's more of them. Oh, for crying out loud, I'm stuck now, halfway up and down a... Right. Well, there's one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Grill, he's gone. I've got to shoot that. Grill. Let's go. Pick some of that up. Stop blowing... Oh, God, there's loads of them. Look at it. Stop blowing holes in my bloody ship. Right, can I hide? Is my ship shields offline? Nope, they're fine. Oh, for, come on, fellas. on like I'm gonna lose this I am gonna lose this come on what's going on I need to get back to the ship quick and get the chassis on the SRV repaired I haven't got a lot of time I'm running I'm running out of time oh, 
What's it doing now? Right. Oh, for... For Christ's sake! <sighs> right. Right. Are you all still with me? I thought it had crashed then. It's going to be an in and out repair, just as you say. Right. Then I gotta go and find the other pylons. Right, brilliant. Deploy. Right. Where is he? Have it. Right now, where was I? Well, there's plenty of things that I was doing, but. Right. Um... Yeah, I'll be out of ammo in a minute. Right, let's find another thing to shoot. There it is, right behind me. That'll give me a little bit of breathing room. Right. So that's... To, uh, how many have I done now? Being on the other side. Got to be over here, isn't it? So I've done that one. That one, that one, it's got to be one over there, isn't it? Let's take it nice and easy. I don't want to, I don't want to miss. Where it is. Should be around here. Up here, perhaps. I bet Yamix can help me. I bet he can. There it is. All right, Marcus, how are we doing? Getting all ready for the rugby.
Right, there's more, is there? Oh, shit. Well, where are the other ones? I thought that was it. Unless there's some here. Right, so according to this, there's another one. Where the bloody hell is it? Oh. Well, it's not going to be up there, is it? Two minutes to go. I'm not going to get this done. It's got to be down the bottom. Yeah, it's not helping me. I'm in a right mess now. It's got to be down. It's got to be down the bottom, isn't it? There's one there, one there, one there, it's got to be at the bottom. Right, let's go. Laugh for crying out loud, come on. Meant to be some sort of roadway or what? Yeah, I've got six of the bloody things. There it is, there. Right at the bottom, there. There it is. There it is. Come on, come on, come on. I bet it's the other way around. Right, right. You is having it, bud. What? Afternoon, all. Right, we've done it. We can relax a bit. Jesus Christ. I can't now because there's more bloody sentinels that have turned up. Oh, shit a brick. Thank you very much for the fiver. I know I should have activated the pylons. But I know, Silas. I know. But I was excited. So really, I should have shot all the people first. I mean, really, what I should be doing is looking around to see any of these things, anything else is glowing. Anyway, anyway, we are, we are where we are. Guardian Sentinels, eh? Bar stewards they are. Besides, we'll be doing some of this tomorrow as well. Plenty of time to get it right or wrong. Pick up all the Guardian swag. Right. I'm under attack. Is rugby like American football? 
No, not really. Other than the fact there is just a funny, there is a funny shaped ball. Um, American football, you've got pads. I haven't got many pads in rugby. Just a bit of Under Armour. The occasional head guard. There is a perchance for head injury these days, like there is in all sports. Um, you know, and I think quite rightly so. So. There's um, players going off for head examinations and, you know, it's been a long time coming. All that sort of stuff but they don't stop the game completely because let's face it the game would take about six hours it's a place there for a power conduit look God knows where that went. Target destroyed. Right, anybody else having a go? Well, everyone's having a go. Look at that. Where's that sentinel? There he is. There he is. Let's just shoot him. Just to be complete. Yeah, hockey's um especially ice hockey. They always say went to a fight and a hockey match broke out. And there's loads of fragments and components to pick up, you know, we we're getting it. Right. Let's get ourselves down there and hopefully activate this device. A few things as well to pick up. Finally, after lot of, a lot of butt clenching moments, don't we scan it now? That's it, isn't it? Okay, finally everybody, here we go.
And there you have it. I can scan that now and get a weapon blueprint. A weapon blueprint, a fighter blueprint. That's what I can get. Guardian Vessel Blueprint Fragment Collected. Thank you very much. More Sentinels to shoot. Because they've woken up. Bloody Sentinels at this place. They're flipping everywhere. Look at them. So really good for all your Guardian materials. But you're going to need materials for... Want to get any closer? Christ. Know what's down here? Oh, look at that! It's a, it's an urn. It's a tea urn. It's a totem. Pick all this up. There we go. And there we have it. End of stream. We'll pick this up same time tomorrow. Do us a bit longer. The rugby is going to be on. Wales v England and we'll take it from there thanks for watching everybody and thanks for the donations as well much appreciated um, I I don't ask for them um, but you know what absolutely fab so rugby it is I'm going to stick this right the way back into the um, into the ship and I'll see you soon. Catch you later.